All right, Victoria, let's take a look at your paper, MLA format first. This looks good. I need a space there between my name. AP is both capitalized. This is correct. A heart too soon and positive too soon. Um, you don't need any punctuation um, at all. And if anything, you would maybe hyphenate too soon, um, but not heart too. That's not the, the hyphen there. That's not what gets connected. So you start with this really long meandering sentence um, that introduces the, the character without introducing the book. Um, and you jump right into basically the topic uh, was the idea of power over the well-being of others. Well-being is hyphenated though. So you have that that you're contending with. Start with something a little more attention grabbing, something a little get to ease the audience into your um, the reader into your um, story, into your your theme, something to you know, kind of grab their attention. You have space issues here. You have too many spaces here, um, and you really like semicolons. And unfortunately, you're not using them correctly. Um, a noble thing, comma, a worthy man, comma, who also happened to be a great companion of the king, no comma, believed the only way to acquire power was to kill for it. Comma, yeah, whether that be directly or not. So you got a couple um, errors just in that that first sentence there that you need to take care of. Uh, Macbeth made decisions based on impulse. He knew exactly what he wanted, how to get it. So this part is good up to here. This is where you are faulty. You cannot have another semicolon in here unless for some reason it's a list of items that have commas in it. So and you don't have that. So this should just be a period. Uh, so fix that. In Macbeth, that would be italicized. I know it's underlined, but you're underlining the whole thing, so you got to italicize that. Um, Shakespeare displays. So I, your thesis statement's really good, um, but I don't really have any idea where you're going with your main points. Um, I get that you're going to talk about Macbeth making these impulsive decisions for power. Um, so I understand that, but I don't really know where you're going yet. I don't think you've really set up where you want to go yet. Uh, and you got, a, like I said, a lot of uh, grammar to clean up in that first paragraph. So let's look at your first body. All right, so tell me if, you're, if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that you're talking, your body paragraphs are about people that uh, were involved in his suffering. Uh, and the first one I'm assuming is Duncan. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> the second one looks like it's Malcolm and Donald Bain. Um, and then... I don't know. I guess I haven't got that far yet. All right, so let's go back up. Be careful with embedding only one word into these quotes. When you get, when you use it on the test, that's fine, but um, try to be conscientious that you're not just doing it. A lot of a um, lot of plot in here. Um, up to this point is mostly just plot. Although you do have a really good line in here. Uh, somewhere I don't know uh, I'll look I'll find it but here's the other thing too why are you bringing up the unnatural the the Falcon the unnatural deeds um, which you go back to um, a little bit later on but uh, I guess my main point Victoria is I'm kind of lost in this paragraph I don't know there's not a really good uh, topic sentence so I know what's going on um, other than I know he killed Duncan and then this last little bit, uh, again, is more about Macbeth. He's willing to go far in order to gain uh, the power of the crown, which you talk about here. Um, but I don't know. I'm just a little bit lost where you're trying to go. Uh, it would raise questions and concerns, uh, which doesn't have anything to do with your topic. You talk about chaos quite a bit, but how does that have to do with your topic? Uh, it could have been prevented, um, but instead it was carried through effortlessly by a man. But again, what does this have to do with your topic? I don't know. So, like I said, I'm a little lost with where things are going and how they're forming. You really got to follow that say, show, mean. Say, strong topic sentence. Show, a couple embedded quotes. And then jump right into the analysis of this topic with your thesis statement. You have a good thesis statement, just jump into that analysis. 
um, a lot sooner. I think you're you're dawdling too much, and then you're kind of all over the place. You're talking about the natural deeds, and then you're talking about something else, and then you're going back to the natural deeds. You do have some punctuation errors as well throughout here, um, like no comma there, no comma there. Um, this is a, a wrong use of a semicolon. Uh, that should be really just be a comma. So I mean, there's a couple of different areas that you're going to have to clean up as well. But really try to focus that first body paragraph. All right, and this paragraph is even a better example of why you need to follow that say show mean pattern. So this is a really weak sentence. Um, was the next to be discussed? I mean, to me, this just feels like I'm going to talk to you about the plot, about the story. All right, so. Malcolm and Donald Bain, Duncan's sons, and rightful heirs to the throne were the most to gain. They came up with a plan, but this is not true. Um, they didn't. They weren't saying that they'll both be safe so that no doubt will target them. Um, they were doing that so that no one would kill them because they felt like somebody amongst their ranks uh, was targeting uh, their father and now it'd be safer if we just got out of their way be so that we can survive so I don't think that I don't think that's correct alright so the father was assassinated because simply because he was in his position um, he did not see this is where you're just getting off task this has nothing this has nothing to do with your topic um, a sentence right there you can just simply cut it this is trying to get into your topic, but I haven't seen any analysis yet. Like, you're just telling me plot points and what happens because of the plot points. I mean, Macbeth negatively affected their whole life. They had to alter their whole life in order to run away and be free from suspicion. Well, obviously that didn't work because they got they were suspicious as soon as they ran away. You got space issue here, Victoria, but just a lack of analysis. There's nothing here that is analytical that's leading us to an answer that's showing us what we should be looking for it's just there's just nothing there that um, that can help us understand the topic at hand all right so we need another strong topic sentence um, I mean this is actually cl the probably the strongest one that you have in here um, this doesn't need to be in here just take that out that he's willing to do anything in order to maintain his power um, so this includes Macduff. So you talk all about Macduff. Again, we have a ton of um, plot. And even more so, like, I don't need to know his son's last words. Um, I feel like this embedded quote is worthless. Uh, they were at the wrong place at the wrong time. But they're also, this is more true. They're innocent bystanders that were just caught in Macbeth's power grabbing ways or whatever you want to say so I think this part you can play off of and not this part so much um, now keep in mind they also refused <laughs> Lady Macduff also refused to leave when she was told that there was trouble on the way so who knows alright so even though he didn't directly murder Macduff's son himself um, or his wife uh, it is a bit more sick it's probably the wrong tone that he could make such an altering decision instantly by a few words. What do you mean by sick that he can do that? I mean, he's a tragic hero. What do you expect? Um, so he's secure his power. You're just repeating your thesis. Uh, so this is good, but again, it's plot. But then you jump right back into Macbeth. Essentially, Macbeth is willing to murder anyone who gets in his way. This shows his violent, instinctive behavior to be evident within his personality, which... Yes, he's violent. You've already established that. But what does that have to do with your theme? And it's another method that he uses. He understands he will die in order for him to maintain power. But I feel like this is a weak place to put that statement. Um, I mean, I feel like that's almost good in your introduction. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't do much there for you. All right, in your conclusion, uh, which we're on to the fourth page now. Uh, man, once you cut out plot, in these first couple paragraphs, Victoria, I think you'll be well on your way to um, being within that three-page limit. Uh, you got to start off with your thesis statement being restated. 
Make sure it's underlined though. Uh, and then you're going to go through and summarize your main points. And as I read your summary of your main points, it becomes even more clear, Victoria. Your main points have to be solely focused on those characters and their suffering. Don't spend so much time going over plot. I've read the story. I know what happens. Spend way more time on what their suffering ultimately means to the story. That's where a lot of your uh, a lot of your analysis has to come from. Because I'm reading these main points that you're going over again, and I'm like, oh yeah, like Macduff suffered, but how much of the paragraph did you really talk about his suffering in there? How much of the the Malcolm and Donald Bain paragraph did you talk about their suffering? Because you actually say it correct here. They were they were wrongfully suspected of the crime, yet that's not really what you said in the paper. Um, so or in the body paragraphs and it, even with this conclusion victoria you're spending way too much time a sentence per body paragraph and you should get out um out of here he did not care that others had to die he wanted power and would do anything to get it here's a run-on sentence um there's two sentences written as one this is a comma splice so that's got to change Works cited page, edited's got to be capitalized, Cliff Notes has to be capitalized, other than that, it is fine. All right, Victoria, we got to get way better at the Seychelles mean, we got to get way better at punctuation and sentence structure, um, just got to make sure it flows better, so hopefully we'll see a rewrite out of you.